foodies, different face, you're stuck with this today because we're not talking about food, we're talking about delicious German beer because of course we are. It's Oktoberfest, it's the time to talk about delicious German beer. Hey foodies, hey foodies, hey foodies! Hey foodies. things. We've got four beers we're going to talk about today, two standards, great German beers, and then we've got two locals that we're going to talk about as well. We're going to really dig into them, see what's going on, and help you order the perfect pour at your Oktoberfest event. Prost. So the first beer that we're going to start out with is a Dom. Now this is a super traditional beer. You will find this everywhere in Germany. Typically you're going to find this in stadiums. You're going to find this soccer game. Sorry, football games. Everywhere you go, you're gonna see this one. This is the gold standard of German beers. Anytime you think of like a proper German beer, this is probably the one that you think of. In fact, to them, this is like their Molson Canadian of beers. It's gonna pour out nice and golden. It's a maltier beer, almost no hop profile to it, and it's a little lighter. And it also is gonna pour with an excellent head. One of the things about German beers is they pour with a really good head because it lets you see how it pours and also prevents anything from getting in it. It's old school, and I think that's why we appreciate it so much. Look at the color on that. Look at that head. Perfect pour, perfect beer. Now, the best part. Let's try it out. It's perfect. That is a gold standard. You can easily drink this anywhere. You get a little bit of malt to it. It's not a sweet beer, so you don't have like that bread finish to it that you get with some other Bavarian or German beers, but you get just a delicious, clean finish. This is something you can sit on on a German patio or at an Oktoberfest patio and just drink these to your heart's content. Prost. Next beer up, we're gonna talk about Lohenbrau. So again, this is a pretty traditional beer. You can find this almost anywhere. It's a little heavier than the Daub is. You're gonna also get a little bit of malt on it. It will pour very similar color. Again, you're gonna get excellent head with it. And it's just, it's a nice, crisp, clean tasting beer. Let's see how that pour looks. Again, perfect. You get almost that same color that the Daub had. This is gonna be a lighter, crisper, Easy drinking beer. Let's try it. That's great. It's a little maltier than the Daub is. So again, this is gonna be a little bit heavier. It won't be as light as previous German beers. However, this is traditional as it gets. This is great, malty, a little bit of sweetness to it, but not too much. You can sit on a patio all day and drink these. Gross. Next, we're going to talk local. So we've switched gears. We're going over to Chatham for this one with Sons of Kent. This is a feist beer. You will traditionally see these brewed right around this time. It's Oktoberfest. Typically, a beer like this is what you would be drinking in a beer hall as well. It's going to pour a little darker. It's going to be a little more complex. You might detect a little bit of hop on this one. But again, it's mostly malt. The head might not be as thick as on some of the more traditional beers. Let's pour it and see how it comes out. Right away, you can see that it's a little darker, so there's gonna be a little more malting happening in this. You might get a little bit of a sweeter finish. Let's try it and see. Oh yeah. What you're getting with this, you're getting a little bit of a darker taste, so a little more malt, also a little bit of spice thrown in there. These are great to sit and drink in a beer hall. Anytime you see Feist beer, you know you're probably in for a good time. I would highly recommend one of these. And again, a little darker, less head. That's not a bad thing sometimes. Last but not least, we have a very local hometown hero. This is the Hellas Lager from Welly. This is a great beer. Already you know it's great because it comes out of Guelph. Hey. So with this, you're gonna get a very light German style beer. However, it's gonna have a little bit of a hop finish to it, not as malty as some of the other ones. And this one you know is good because they've won tons of awards for it. This is, when you think of a traditional Hellas style lager, 
they nailed it with this one. Let's give it a pour and see how it looks. Very light coloring on this one, almost straw. You're not gonna get as much of a multi complexity to it. Where you're really into it is the finish of this beer. Let's give it a try. Yep, just as I thought, you get a little bit of a noble hop taste at the end of that, but it's incredibly minor. This is not like an IPA or anything that's very hop forward. You're getting a little bit on the back end of this and you're just getting a crisp, clean taste. You wanna sit around and have a really clean tasting beer, this is the one that you're gonna get. And you're also drinking local and supporting that beautiful local economy. Prost. Last thing we're gonna talk about because it's not Oktoberfest without Das Boot. How, how do you drink out of this? It's a boot, not a glass. What? <sighs> this is jokes, all day. Drinking out of Das Boot has always been a German tradition. Do you know the secret to drinking out of Das Boot? Because there is a trick. You fill it up with your favorite beer and then you drink it down, but if you're not careful, Das Boot will get you. I'm gonna let you in on the secret for how to drink Das Boot. So we're gonna fill it with the delicious German beer. And then, you typically start with Das Boot in the air. But watch this trick as we defeat Das Boot once and for all. <sighs> Notice how I didn't get the kick from Das Boot? You gotta turn it so the air bubble doesn't get you. That's how you drink out of Das Boot. That's how you enjoy Oktoberfest. And that's a little bit of education on some of the delicious fare that will be available for Oktoberfest. We'll see you soon. Cross. Oh my God, how many of these have we got left? Why can't I get these in one take? Drinking beer does not make for a hard job. I want you to witness all of the suffering that's going on here. I mean, I'm doing this for you, not for me. Mm. Suffering. Oh, agony.